Assalamu alaikum brothers and sisters. Auzu billahi minash shaitanir rajim. Bismillahir rahmanir rahim. This video I want to touch base on the topic of hura line a little bit and then inshallah I will move on to another topic which I think is even more interesting. Allah Azawajal, as we know the hura line the woman of paradise Allah Azawajal created them with something special. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned inna ansha'nahunna insha'a. Allah said that indeed we have created a special creation. And these special creations are the women of Jannah, paradise. By the way, dear my sisters, if you're new here, consider subscribing because inshallah we'll be making a lot of Islamic reminder videos in this channel. Jannah is something we know that women will be there and will enjoy them. But what about the food? Because with women comes food. Man loves women and they also love what? Food. We love food. We like biryani. We like uh, McDonald's, KFC. We like all kind of food, spicy food, chicken fry, whatever, butter, you know, but, uh, butter chicken. <laughs> As you can see behind me, I'm going to be showing you actually this picture right behind me. Um, then you will know what I'm talking about. So as you can see right here, some food there, right? Right behind me, some food. So we'll be talking about that. Now, women in Jannah, obviously, there is no hadith that I found personally that talks about women making food for men. This food that we will be eating in Jannah, both for men and women, are specially made for us, custom made, so delicious that you will never forget the taste of it. However, the taste will change. It will get only better. So food in Jannah, okay, let's put it this way, women and um, food in Jannah. Okay, so one thing that we have to understand, the food in Jannah are very, very, very special. Number one, reason for that is because the reason we are eating food is not because we are hungry we are eating food because because we are enjoying the taste of it okay nobody will be hungry in jannah so the food in jannah is something that is very very special now the hadith that i want to share with you dear my sisters rasulullah he rasulullah some said in the hadith and uh, uh, jabir ibn abdullah reported this hadith he said in fil jannata in fil jannati yakuluna wa fiha wa wa yashrabuna so you will you will yakuluna you will eat and drink in jannah rasulullah sallam he's mentioned in hadith the less you eat in this dunya the more you will be fed in 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 akhirah isn't it amazing? Every time we see food, we want to eat. Even if we are not hungry, we want to eat food. All the time, eating, 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 you know. Rasulullah said, if you eat less in this dunya, means if you practice zod, if you practice fasting, you know, if you are uh, pra uh, if practicing siyam, then you will be hungry all the time, or most of the time. And that is a good thing for you, because in Jannah, You'll be, your stomach will be filled. So people who are hungry, people who cannot afford food, for example, brothers and sisters in the refugee camps, you know, Syria, Iraq, Lebanon, wherever they are, they're struggling with, with basic food, basic need. May Allah feed them in Jannah. Say Amin, inshallah. Type uh, in the comment section, Amin, inshallah, because uh, we want to make dua for them. So one thing we can find from this hadith, Inna fil jannati ya'kuluna wa yashrabuna. Ya'kuluna fiha wa yashrabuna. They will eat and they will drink. People who say we will not eat or drink in Jannah, they're wrong. But this is a question, big question. If you eat, what happens to your food? Because you cannot, you cannot just eat and, and be like, okay, I'm done. No, because if you eat, you have to go to the washroom, right? You have to go to the washroom. You have to use toilet. What? What would you do in Jannah? Because these things are filthy and there, is be, there will be no filth in Jannah. It's all pure. The Prophet Sallallahu said that when you go to Jannah and you eat, يَأْكُلُونَ وَيَشْرَبُونَ وَلَا, يتفلو, ولا يتفلون. So number one, you will not, you will not spit. Sometimes we throw out food. Sometimes we eat some part of the fruit. For example, we do not want to eat the seed. What we do is we spit it out or sometimes you do not like the taste of the food. So what do you do? You poo poo like, like that, you know, spit it out. Or sometimes you're like, ah, poo poo, right? <laughs> People do that. That is guaranteed will not happen. This is where the Prophet he said 
وَيَتْفُلُونَ وَلَا يَعْبُلُونَ يَعْبُلُونَ basically means can you imagine what is this or can you guess urinate you will not urinate you will not pee in the washroom and also it is mentioned you will not also not only not either you, you will not pee but also wala yat rawatuna go to washroom for the that's a big one so you're not defecate okay you once you go to the wash uh, once you eat food you will not go to the washroom you will not defecate now what else what so okay so we understand that eating food in jannah means you are enjoying the food there is no problem with your stomach with the digestion but the question is where the food will go it cannot just be vanished i mean if i eat something and it is in my stomach or i am enjoying it it cannot be just vanished what will happen if and, and allah is, is telling us you will not spit you will not urinate you will not defecate what is happening i drank a lot of you know soda and and wine khamar i mean you know, wine is halal in jannah i drank so much water i drank so many good stuff i should be going to the to the washroom to urinate or to defecate what happened to my to those food rasulullah saw he said so this was the question actually by asked by the sahaba the sahaba asked rasulullah sallam qalu fama balu tu'ami what will happen to the food that we just ate ya rasulullah the the, the, the sahaba they asked him what happens to the food that we just ate he said or some then he said okay so this is i'm gonna be actually i don't think you can see oh yeah you can see it so i'm gonna be answering you that question so what will happen to your food you just ate the prophet saw some then gave them the answer because sahaba and Wallahi subhanallah, we even living in this uh, age and time with so many modern advanced technology and medical advancement, we do not uh, comprehend these things. And this is beyond our comprehension anyways. So then he said that, uh, what will happen? Kola jushau. Okay. Kola jushau. Jushau basically means you will belch, means you will have a burp. Okay. I think this is how you write so what happens to your food number one you will be burping okay let's see burpees burpee i don't know is it is it burp or burp okay i think burp so you will have a burp like you know what do you call in hindi um dakkan i think dakkar or something like that uh you will have that and number two thing that you will do also kola jusha u wa rashuhu and you will sweat. You will have a, you know, gum, gum. Uh, in Bangla we say gum. What do you call it uh, in uh, in Hindi? Sweat. I don't know. Uh, so this is what will happen. So this, these are the two things that you will do now. If you are doing this continuously, you're enjoying food and you are burping and you are sweating and the and the food is vanished. What about your spiritual need? Because these are, these are our physical need. Food is for physical need. But in Jannah, you will still desire for spirituality. Okay. And this is something that will be given to you almost as if this is a, a, a built-in thing in Jannah. Your spirituality is not something you have to make effort. So for example, in dunya, you have to say with your tongue or remind yourself, you know, Alhamdulillah, Bismillah, Allahu Akbar, all the dhikr, Astaghfirullah, you have to do it. In Jannah, this is not how it is. That much of effort will not be needed. In Jannah, remembering Allah, making dhikr of Him is so easy. I'm going to mention the hadith in a second. The Prophet Sallallahu he said, uh, uh, Okay, so the sweat that I mentioned, okay, uh, you know, the smell of it is like, of it is like what? musk beautiful sweat it's not a smelly sweat you do not need deodorant this is in in itself is a deodorant okay you do not need to use that rush hill misk you you will say you will glorify and praise allah 
just like kama yulhamunan nafasa okay you will make let's put it this way make dhikr of allah or praise him and glorify him just as easy just as easy as you can you guess breathe i think b r e t h breathe or breathe okay kama um kama yul hamuna nafasa just like as you breathe so in other word your praising of allah you're making dhikr of allah is just like you're breathing in other word your entire time in jannah because you are there your existence in jannah is in itself is a confirmation it in itself is the essence of glorifying of allah azza wa so you're in you're in jannah means you are glorifying allah and you do not even have to say anything you have do not have to make any effort just like you leave just like you breathe that's how you'll be praising allah azza wa and glorify him again if you're new here consider subscribing like this video if you share this video inshallah i'll see you soon again assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh